Hey everyone, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a makeup tutorial today because today is my birthday and I really didn't feel like getting glammed up because I'm not going anywhere. So I was just like, well, I could do a quick look for something that I've been wanting to try. And I apologize in advance for any background noise. Um, I do live here with other people. So, um, and as far as all of this, this is my sewing station. So that's why that's like that. But, um, I've already put on my foundation. I use LA Girl Pro Coverage. I don't like it because I feel like it's too greasy, but it's the HD one. And then um, I did my eyebrows already. So wait a while. Color Icon Brow Pencil. But for my eyes, I am going to be using my Wet n Wild palette. Not your average peach. Oh, not a basic peach. I'm sorry. And the color I'm going to start with is this transition shade. The transition <laughs> shadow right here. I washed my brushes last night. So I'm going to be using, starting with my Coastal Scents powder brush. I'm going to just take it right in there. Really lightly. I don't naturally have big eyelids, but I do the best I can to make it look like I do. So. And the eyeshadow base that I'm using is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Or you can use concealer if you want. And I'm sorry about my lighting, but I am using my um little tripod that I talked about in my Five Below Beauty Haul video. So I'm just going to blend them to make sure they're even on both sides. Okay. Next, I'm going to be using the shadow brush that I got from uh, Wet n Wild. And you can get the Wet n Wild brushes pretty much anywhere. I think I got this one from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be going into this shade right here. It's like a burnt orange with some gold undertones. That's the one I'm going to be using to put on the, the inner lid. And I'm just, it's so highly pigmented. I'm literally barely touching it. And I'm just going to pat it on. And blend it into that crease color. But I am working on getting some better light in my light that goes above my mirror is going out. I need some new batteries. So. Okay, so I'm going to take that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a smaller blending brush um, that I got from LA Colors. Came in a two-piece set. And, uh, well, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to go back to this brush right here. It's a wet and wild brush. It's like a flat shadow brush. Normally, I use this to do my eyebrows, but I have other brushes that I can use. Yeah, got another one I can do to highlight my brows, which is all that's already done. But I'm going to go right in here 
in the shade that's underneath that burnt orange I was telling you about. And I'm going to touch that just a little bit. And I'm going to put that next to it. Same thing on the other side. And it's okay to mess up. You can always fix it later. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that brush that I just showed you from LA Colors. And I'm going to go into the darker shade right here. And this is the color that I'm going to work into the outer corner. And make sure you comment below and let me know if your birthday is today. Once you get it to the depth that you want it on your first eye, you just go over to the other eye. You should have something like this. Let me turn this down. See that. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go back to my big fluffy blending brush and then into that transition shade, and we're just gonna even this out up here. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to take one of these flat brushes right here. It's a Coastal Sense brush. I'm going to just give y'all the number by Coastal Sense. And it is the BRB S20. And I'm coming right in here to that gold. Well, I take it back. I'm going to do this champagne color right here. Take that really lightly. And highlight. And that's it for that. And I think I'm going to take my little smooth point brush right here, Coastal Scents. <laughs> Ghost of Saints, and this is BRB S13. And I'm going to go into that burnt orange, and that's going to go in the inner corner. Well, I'll just go ahead and bring it in, even it out. And then what I'll do is I'll add that smoky color to the outside. Right here, right here. Sorry about 
going into the smoky cover. All right, that is that for that. Like I said, I'm probably not going to do a full face because I ain't going away. But I'll do it just for show. Uh, I'll start with the blush first. Profusion Cosmetics Blush 2 Palette. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. Blush brush. My favorite blush out of the, the whole palette are these three Pink Star, Harmony, and Smitten. I'm going to use Harmony. Contour. I like to use this brush right here. I don't even know. L. Small stipple brush. I know that's not what it's normally used for, but that's what it's going to be used for today. <laughs> and going into my LA Colors Contour Palette, I'm going to use the deeper shade up here. And there's no right or, way, right or wrong way to contour, shall I say. You do what you feel best is what you feel is best for you. And sorry for the sniffing. My allergies are bothering me. Just contour right in there. And the other side. Bag. I'm going to get my fan brush. See, everything is squeaky clean today. And I'm going to use this warm gold shade right here. This is a Sephora illuminating palette. And I'm taking my fan brush and just sweeping it back and forth. Not too much, not too little. And you can layer your highlight to as much or as little as you want. I keep it simple. I'll do my nose. Just because I didn't really contour anything else. And my forehead. Cupid bow. And chin. Why not? Mess that on up. Right. I'm going to do my arm. If I can find it. Yeah, it's still in here. 